हे गाइस, आई एम निशांत एंड वेलकम टू साइबर नाइटिको सो इन दिस वीडियो लेट्स स्टार्ट टू डिज़ाइन द न्यू स्पीड सिस्टम ऑफ फेसबुक हाउ कैन वी डू दैट सो फॉर एग्जांपल, लेट्स से आई हैव पोस्ट हेयर दैट आई मेड ये स्टडे आई वांट टू ओपन माय ओन बर्गर शॉप ऑन फेसबुक सो लेट्स डू थ्री टेबल्स हेयर फर्स्ट सो लेट मी क्रिएट अ टेबल फर्स्ट or a rectangle here so this one is the table one so here we can write some text called let's say users so basically we will need three tables we have one table called users let's add one more table that will be known as let's say posts let me write it here posts let me align this and we need third table for our likes for example let's first target the likes here so you see 14 others these are likes here so when or who likes our post will be inside this like table you know this so we have users table which contains our users list we have posts which contains all the list of posts under one user and one like table so for example let's say we add one user here so let me write it we can have the user id for that user then we can have so let's say this user id is let's say something called uh, nishant wait let me expand this user id is let's say nishan 666 we made a user with this user id similarly we can have the user name as well so we can say user name let me make this smaller and expand this user name should be nishan 10 this should be also 10 the font size So ID is this, username is this. Fine. So let's also add one more called profile picture. That will be a link to our image. So let's say DP, display picture. So we can make this as a string, or let's say some link. Fine. So we have three things: user ID, user name, and the display picture. so we can make them in an object we can have multiple users so we can add them in an object so let me write in object here and let's put them inside so basically let me expand it or we can do this as well i am finding hard to write here in this white board one is here and one should be here at the bottom fine so we have one user which is an object like nishan 666 which is id nishan is a user name and some display picture which is a link let me arrange them properly like this all right all right all right okay 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 so we have this but this user should be contained in a array or in an array so let's make them as well here and let me add an space this uh, where should we add a space okay let me add it here itself let's add and this bracket that denotes an array and here as well so we can have multiple objects inside the array i mean multiple users okay it's very hard it's better to write it instead on a white board not do this so we can okay so let's say we have one more user called shalesh he will have a user id some user name and the link to a display picture we can add one more field called privacy but that's optional 
that was for users. So in this case, we are only targeting one user because we have this. Fine. So this was the users table. Now let's move to the post table. So our post should contain items like this. So let me make an object here as well. Inside we can have, let me expand this to full. We can have the post ID. Let's say one, two, three. For this post, we can have an ID, which is one, two, three, a unique ID, like a primary key. Then we can have post time or the timestamp of the post. So let's say seven or it's five or it is six PM. So next one should be the content. What is contained in the post? If it is an image, we can add a link to the image. But if it is a content, we can write something like ABC or anything like this. So these are all things we need in the post. Uh, okay, we also need the user ID, like who made this post or who wrote this post user ID. So for example, I myself Nishant had made this post. I want to open up my burger shop. My post ID Sorry, my user ID is Nishan triple six. So when I make a post, this ID should be here like this. Okay. And this is the body for posts. Now let's add the likes for this. So for likes, we can add this. So our like will contain an object as well. I mean an array object, but let's also let's initially make this an object. For now, let me zoom this, make this big. Okay, how do we scroll this? I can't scroll, so okay. That's fine. Now we can do okay. So in the like table, we can have the post ID that on which post we have the like. So see, these are the likes here, 14 others. So whoever liked the post had an ID like Nishan triple six. So we'll store that IDs inside this object. First object. If we have multiple likes, we can create multiple objects here. So post ID for this is one, two, three for this post. Then who like the post? So in our case, let's say someone named Shalesh like the post. So his name should be here, like his user ID. So let's say shellish or to make it simple, let's say I like the post, my own post. So in this case, the user ID should be Nishant triple six. Then when did we like the post? So when I like the post, so this should be a timestamp value. Timestamp. Let's say three AM midnight fine and the fourth one is called is liked for example let's say we like the post but then we unliked it so it can be a true or a false value true or a false value in case of our like or unlike so here is the three tables that we needed for our like if we have a comment we can do same just like this like so let me copy this and add it here. We can make this as comment table. Fine. So the post ID will be same like one to three. All the things will be same. But we will also have one more field here for comments, which is comment body. If we have multiple comments, we can add multiple comments here. So comment body will contain the comment. So let's say yes or uh, Yes, I also want to join you like something like this. We can have fine. Let me expand this and do this fine. So this was the table structure that we need. Let me structure them. Let me move them here for posts. Then let's say we have users move it here. Then let's say we have this like 
let's move it here and comments move it here so what we can we do is this also this so i have users then we will have posts here fine so now let's draw the relationship between them how it will work so for example let's say i made a post nishan triple six is the username sorry is the user id and the username is nishant fine so if i made a post this like if i made a post with content of abc so this user id nishant triple six will be here so let me draw the relationship between them so we'll have link we'll have to link user id with this user id now next is our post here so we made a post with post id one two three and we liked our own post so in this case our post id will be here let me make it here and the user id will be here as well so let me write it here user id okay not this so we can we can create a symbol like this user id like this fine if we have a comment we'll have this so our post id will be here in case of a comment let's write here but it's uh, it's 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 complicated so what can we do is move it a little bit further like this and uh, fine it's overlapping but it is fine now it's fine okay fine my first time using this so forgive me now the post id for comment will be this let me mark it here and the user id for the comment where is it will be this so this is the relationship we have to draw between all the tables like all of the other items like timestamp is true or false can we get from the outside sources not from the any previous table so that is it for this now let's say we want to get all the data Wait, where is it coming from let me what is this user id okay it should be here okay let's say we want to get all the posts under my name so we can use my id find which is a primary key let's say you want let's say you want all the likes or collect all the likes from this post so we can also get it using this post id if you want to get single post for the single username, we can pass the user ID as well. But if you want to get all the posts, you can get it from the single post ID. Like, you know how it works. All the databases like MongoDB or SQL has different methods of getting data. So that's it for it. And that's how we design a Facebook news feed system. You can make it a little bit more using this so let's say we made a like on a post which is captured in our post id and user id we can add a like id as well because every time we make a like we should have an id let's say like one for comments we can also have a comment id let's say comment one also we don't need this here is like so we can remove it so let me recap this let's say we have a user called nishant this user he has the id of nishant triple six and one photo you can add multiple fields like also like date of birth and whatnot for this user when he signed up fine so this user made a post which says abc or this thing i want to open my burger shop so this user made a post which has an post id for this unique post so all other posts have unique ids just like this 
and it's capturing also our user id like who made the post so you see this nishan triple six is a primary key because it's unique then we need to record our timestamp which is this and the content fine so maybe we made a post here we can get all the posts posts under this user nishan triple six by selecting them like how no you know how it works in sql queries i don't remember okay so let's say someone made a like on this current post this post let's say this is me or i made a like on this post so we'll have a like id for this like it will record the post id like who made the post sorry on which post the like is which is this post this post id one two three then we need to record the user id as well like who made the like we cannot add username because let's say nishant is like two users here nishant singh is the name of two users they made one made a like and if the other opens that up it will be still liked fine so that's not proper using username we have to use user id here so that's it we have like id post id user id this like id is unique fine now we have timestamp on which time the like has been made then we have is like true or false this denotes that let's say we, i made a like or anyone else made a like on my post or any other host then he unliked it so in that case it can be true or false so these days what's happening on facebook is we have a reactions thing so instead of like we can add one more call reaction which can be like or love or uh, funny or something like that we can make it like this okay fine then we have simple comments or comments i mean which is similar to like which contains a comment id for that comment the post id that on which post that comment has been made user id who made the comment timestamp that says that on what time that comment has been made the comment body like i want to or any comment not this that's post uh, content then fine if you want to make things a little bit complex you can add replies on this comment so you can make it an array inside same like on this comment let's say we have a comment called i want to join you yes i want to join you so let's say someone reply that thanks so in this we have to record which person made the reply so we also need that person's user id so let's say shalesh made it shalesh made it and also timestamp so let's say at 4 am evening sorry not evening like uh midnight after midnight like morning for the morning then we can have the body that what he write or what he wrote so we can add reply so let's say yes i will try burgers like this okay let me make this here i want to fry burgers we need to make it big like this fine so this can be an array which contains multiple replies which can be multiple objects so it's basically a blueprint you can add as how you want depending on the type of database so that's how we can create a facebook news feed system fine and that's that's all for now thank you so much for watching my video like the video subscribe and share to have more videos like this one